Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of StarMade Tech. I'm going to be showing off some single core shootout rail clocks today. I have two versions here. I have the one on the right which is all laid out so that you can see how it works. The one on the left is a cut and paste version that I created. Um, I will be uploading this schematic that I'm working with up on the dock after I'm done here. So let's let's get down to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this one on the right. You can see it's just as fast as the old ones were. It's a little bit more complicated now because the update bro broke the old ones. And then here, let's try this one out. We'll take a look at that. And it, yep, they're just as fast. Still co copy, cut, and pasteable. Now let's go ahead and build this one right now so you guys can see how to work it, how it works. Let's throw down some pieces. So we're going to have our four activation blocks, our pickup rails, and I'm going to have the same ones over here, shootout rails, right there, and I need the other one here. I'm going to need another activation block here, a knot gate, inner ship remote, so we can control it from the hot bar, a shootout or a pickup rail that goes the other direction, another activation block so we can turn it on and off, and then an output. Let's go ahead and connect up the output, the two center blocks here. These also go into here like this. This guy goes into here. This guy goes into here. These are connected like so. This on off button is connected to the inner ship remote. The inner ship remote is then connected to the not gate. The not gate is then connected to the other activation. This activation is what turns everything off, so we're going to go ahead and select this and pick all of these so it turns off. This inner ship remote is what's going to be taught to start, so we're going to have those go to the bottom two. And it should all be connected, it should be working now. So let's go ahead and um, cycle it once. And then we'll go ahead and drop down an entity so we can watch it work. And it should be good to go. There it goes. There's one. Let's go ahead and do the copy pasteable version over here. I'm going to throw down some pickup rails real quick. They should be aimed down. Yeah, like that. So we're going to, uh, we don't want them connected to anything. Do some uh, pickup rails or uh, shootout rails, I mean. going to do our pickup rail there to get things going. We're going to need some activation blocks. One right here, here, um, here, and then two here. Let's get a knot for here. I'm going to get this thing connected up. So this goes into here and to here. This goes into here and to here. These guys go right into here. Oh, I forgot. And this guy, that's your off, so it's going to be going into here, here, and here. The on one is going to be going into here and here. This on off button is going to be going into this first and then into here. And we also want it to go into an inner ship remote. Let me pull one of those out. Right there. But we don't want to connect it that way. C, B, C, B. And this one is going to be our output, so we're going to want both of these connected to it. Alright, so let's cycle it. Alright, let's drop an entity in there. down in there and we should be able to turn it on and off and there she goes simple as that good to go so that's how you build them and I'm happy I to do it for you guys um, next episode we're gonna do dual core uh, automatic desyncing shootout rail clocks all right see you guys next time peace out